Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. So today I came with an information video. Uh, this is related to origin letter. So if you refer some of my letters, like previous letters of urgent um, letter, you can see that I have mentioned uh, to write the past history first, then gradually we will come to today's visit. So there are some uh, changes now because recently there was some um, OIT officials uh, question and answer live section. So in that um, they are explaining that it is far better to write today's visit first, then you can go back to the previous history. So now you will have confusion uh, how to write this in this way. So I will give you some hint. It will be easy for you to write the letter. So how you can start? Example, um, um, example. I will tell you one story. So this patient in a uh, nursing home or retirement village, and um, they have given some old history. That patient has some uh, shoulder pain, indigestion problem, and um, uh, sleeping difficulty, shoulder pain, chest pain, uh, jaw pain. So this everything. And this patient um, had some tablets, but even with the tablets, patient the patient is not getting well. And they are informing to patient's GP, uh, even though the GP's consultation has been rescheduled to tomorrow. So um, they have given the next um, uh, timing, that means the evening timing. These things are not happened in morning. Evening timing, patient's condition became uh, severe and the BP became 180 over something like that. So the BP is increasing time by time. And even with the tablet, she's not. So in this scenario, um, at last, uh, when we are uh, trying to... Um, uh, manage with uh, some other medications or even with the uh, nitroglycerin spray or nitroglycerin patch even with that and even oxygen therapy with oxygen therapy medications and nitroglycerin even with all these measures patient is not getting well then we are referring the patient to emergency department so this is the scenario so in this case condition how we can um, write the present medical paragraph so we will have confusion in present medical paragraph only and they have given that respected to her myocardial infection so how we can start always uh, start uh, with um, uh, why we are going there or this is if it is a home visit means we have to write that why this patient is under our nursing service and if it is a nursing home is of course we are the one taking care and maybe we are the one um, in charge nurse there so the, here in initial paragraph we can write that um, a patient um, is in a village for um, um this many years and under our nursing service like that we can start if it is in the home as it means you can just start with uh this patient's name you can just uh, mention and has been under our nursing service for the follow-up visit like that we can write so it is in this case not actually this is a patient admitted in the uh, i mean it's a resident patient so no need to mention anything just you can start with today's uh presentation so how we can start Today, example patient's um, name is X. We can, we can give Mrs. X. So, you can just write that today Mrs. X presented with the so and so on uh, condition like um, a sleeping difficulty, tiredness and increased shoulder pain um, and chest pain, shortness of breath or something, something like that we can write. Then we can write, uh, therefore, she was managed with uh, these many medications. So they have given some medications. That medications we can write like paracetamol or or something like that. We can write. Then you can write even though with the medications she even though she didn't have pro any progress or she had she has no progress like that. We can write. Therefore, or thus she was uh, her uh, GP, general practitioner was informed, uh, but due to busy schedule, uh, he postponed the visit. Postponed the visit. Then. Gradually, we can come to the evening time. Gradually, at around this time, we can write and her blood pressure became, uh, we can write what is that at elevated blood pressure. Along with it, we can write um, the um, say, uh, symptoms like um, worse the symptoms like a shoulder pain, chest pain, shortness. But the same thing only, we can just write, um, she represented with the worse and the symptoms like that we can write which aroused the doubt of her possible diagnosis. No need to write again myocardial infarction. You can just write, which aroused the doubt of her possible diagnosis. Then what we did, we can write. 
uh, uh, the, therefore she has been initiated with or she was managed with the uh, oxygen therapy or uh, medications or nitroglycerin patch or spray or something what are the things we can write then we can write at the at the end even though there is uh, no, or if, uh, if you used already even though means here you can use any other synonyms if and if there is no other synonyms you are not getting any synonyms just you can use but okay so but uh, she has no improvement therefore she is being transferred into your facility for further uh, management or further uh, or an immediate attention so like that you can uh, sum up that present medical paragraph that means the first paragraph or present medical paragraph then in the next paragraph you can just write the old history if there is any old history means you can just write that means sometime uh, they have given uh, one month ago already this problem has started so in this case what you can see that patient already uh, started to experience indigestion and shoulder pain one month ago so you can mention that one but how we have to start you have to start with initially initially since uh, this date you can write uh, and mrs x um, uh, or as you can write has had also okay you can just write um, uh, mrs x has had indigestion or shoulder pain since this date and was managed with uh, these medications like that some history if it is there you can just write that history also so this is the way he be how to write i will tell you another one more scenario this is related to pericarditis so it is familiar for you patricia style so in that there are two uh, case notes they have not two case not two scenarios they have given first one patient got admitted in the green valley hospital uh, one month ago uh, with all uh, some definitive uh, symptoms of pericarditis after diagnosis a patient was managed conservatively and was advised to and was uh, discharged with the home advice but in home there was no one so they have arranged one home visit that 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 means for today and today we are going when we are we went there we saw that patient is not well with the tiredness weakness um, shortness of breath which relieved in rest on rest and uh, patient complained of um, many things so that things uh, along with that things the bp also is increased and we are suspecting that it is relapse or complication of pericarditis so then we have to um, urgently refer the patient to emergency department so in this scenario how we can start we can just start with the today's home visit but patient uh, was already arranged for today's home visit so we have to start like this uh, example patricia style so miss style so we can write miss style uh, was arranged with a home visit for today under our nursing service for the follow-up of his medical condition okay then you can write on today's home visit these and these and things so on things happen then at the end you can write this is a, a reason for her referral then in the next paragraph you can write initially on this day uh, miss style was admitted to green valley hospital with the complaints of this 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 thing then the old history will continue and at the end you can just write therefore a home visit has been arranged for her until my service that's enough so that is a two sentences there is a connection after this sentence if you see the uh, first paragraph this that is a continuation so it will come like a circle so in this way if you write it will be far better for the reader to understand so once um, the oet official has given some idea means it is always um, uh, beneficial to write in that way so it is easy for you to get this score so i hope it is clear for you you can just see the things what are the things i have given in the video so it will be easy for you to understand so i hope it is clear we will see with another one informative video until then bye take care